Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great diesel Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at a 1999 Fleetwood Discovery. This is the model number 37V. It's 38 feet long. This motorhome came factory with one slide out, but this one was special ordered with a second slide, so it's got two slides. In beautiful condition, it's only got 45,000 miles. Came out of the Lake Hartwell, South Carolina area, South Carolina, Georgia area, so this is a southern motorhome. No rust, no fading of the stripes, no delamination. This is the motorhome that people come from all over the country to buy, is motorhomes from here in the southeast because you don't have rust issues like northern units have, and you don't have fading and, and and issues from the heart Florida sun and, and the harsh elements like Florida units have. Beautiful RV, looks a lot newer than it really is. 45,000 miles is built on a Freightliner custom chassis so you can always get service pretty much anywhere in the country. Got the Alcoa 22 and a half inch wheels instead of the wheel covers. It's got that very popular 275 ISB Cummins diesel. 45,000 miles, six-speed Allison. Now, folks, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people uh, think the 275 is underpowered, but I owned one a few years ago myself. I had a Winnebago with a 275. This size right here is 38 foot. I towed a Jeep Grand Cherokee behind it. I could set my cruise control on 75 miles an hour, and it would stay there all day long, and it would go 80, 85 miles an hour if I wanted to. Of course, you know, nobody, this is a 38 foot motorhome. You're not going to run at 90, 95, 100 miles an hour. It's just not safe. But I promise you, folks, it's 275 with 660 pound feet of torque. And torque is where you get your power from, not horsepower on diesels. It's going to give you all the power you need and then some. Now, if you can afford to spend an extra thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, by all means, go ahead and get the 350 or the 400 Cummins. But for the money, this 275, you're not going to be disappointed in when it comes to power. Uh, I mean, I can guarantee you that, folks. Like I said, I had one. I know what this motorhome can do. It's going to get up to 70, 75 miles an hour, get there fairly quickly. You can start out at a red light with this one, going up a hill against uh, any gas burner, even the gas burners that have more horsepower than this, any gas burn in the world, and that, and, and that gas burn will be seeing your rear, rear end all the way up that hill because you're going to smoke it. And that's what I like about a diesel, folks. You get that torque, plus you get the advantage of having something that you're never going to be able to wear out. This motorhome right here, the one I had, had 160,000 miles on it and ran perfectly. This motorhome will run six, 700,000 miles if you take care of it. And... Uh, with only 45,000 miles, it's got the diesel generator, the 7.5 diesel generator with, I think, 1,100 hours on it. You're never going to wear this machine out, folks. Six-speed Allison Freightliner custom chassis. I mean, these are built like a semi-transfer trucks, and those things have a million-plus miles before they start getting into the engine and rebuilding them. And so I'm telling you, folks, if you want a motorhome, that you can still be using 15, 20 years from now, this is one of them. It's a 99 model 337V with two slides, 275 Cummins, ISB Cummins, the one of the most popular uh, engines that Cummins makes. They've been around for 25 or 30 years. There's been over a billion road miles driven on ISB Cummins diesel engines. So it's safe to say, uh, this is a good motorhome, folks. It's got air brakes. It's got the adjustable air suspension. Uh, it's got full heated basement, so this is a Four Seasons model. It's got the polyurethane sprayed compartment, so you can clean them out with a hose. Look at the striping and finish. This is the advantage of buying a southeastern motorhome over buying one that's been up north or down in Florida. The roof looks great. Everything about this motorhome is just immaculate. And folks, I'm going to tell you, for the price you can buy this for, it's absolutely in beautiful condition. Only $39.9.
and that's everything checked out, ready to go. Look down the sides there. There's not a bit of delamination. You know, I wish I could find a, uh, I wish I could fill my lot up with low mileage diesel motor homes like this in this kind of condition that I can sell for under $40,000. But they're just not out there, folks. I've got a couple in this price range, but I wish I had a hundred of them. If I could find a hundred discoveries just like this, I would buy every single one of them and sell them. But they're just not out there. It's got a manual point satellite. Both slide outs have awning toppers in great shape. Patio awnings in great shape. Glasses in great shape. I'm telling you folks, I know this is a 99. It may not be 100% like a 2016, but you can look at a hundred other 99 discoveries. You're not going to find another one this nice and clean in this good of condition, especially for 39.9. Let's look inside this 37V. Power step works perfectly. Look at the carpets. Um, and this is how it came in, folks. We haven't cleaned it up or anything. This is how the previous owners kept it. Uh, Flex steel uh, power captain's chairs that both swivel for party seating. You know, you can crank it up. I mean, it just fires right up. Of course, that's the low air light you're hearing. It has to build up the air. Power gear hydraulic leveling jacks. CD stereo, it's got the engine retarder, retarder like the Jake brake. That buzzer will go off here in just a minute as it builds up the air pressure. As you can see, low air. No warning lights. The brake lights simply let us know the parking brake's engaged like it should be. Uh, generators running perfectly. It's got the beverage mate heated and cooled beverage holder. I love these. I wish mine had them. My, my 2008 Winnebago doesn't have these. And it costs almost three times what this one cost. But it actually heats and cools your beverages. So it's neat. It's got the heated power mirrors. It's got the six speed, not the five speed Allison. Six speed automatic, which is what you want, the 3000 Allison. TVs, everything's original, everything works. Got the defrost fans. Um, it's a nice motorhome. That's your step cover right there. So you can cover the step for the passenger seat. It's got the opposing sofa floor plan, which is really nice. This right here is ideal because you can sleep extra people, plus you've got a nice conversation area. You can put two on, you can sit two at this sofa, three on this, and then you got your two front chairs that swivel around, so nice conversation area. Very, very high build quality. You know, Fleetwood is the brand that invented the motorhome. That's how long they've been in business. This is actually the brand that invented the motorhome. And the Discovery is one of their top end brands. All solid wood cabinet. Notice the trim and the woodwork around the slide out. Real Corian countertops. Real hardwood floors in the kitchen area. This isn't that laminate junk or the vinyl. This is real hardwood. It's got two ovens, which is, I love this. I actually had to add the this in mine because I wanted the two ovens and the confection oven. but. This has got a LP oven, and then it's got an electric oven, and this is a microwave too. Uh, huge residential style sinks. I mean, these Corian tops right here weigh about 10, 12 pounds each. So they're not gonna come off when you go down the road. Plenty of drawers and cabinets. I mean, that motor's just purring like it's supposed to, folks. Day, night shades and all the windows. The window treatments all look great. I mean, you can look underneath all the windows. There's no signs of leaks or leak damage anywhere. Whoever had this thing has really maintained it great. They, uh, the, the roof looks great. Notice it's got the crowned roof so you don't have standing water. And I looked on the roof myself. It looks great. Somebody has serviced this thing, the roof, like they're supposed to. And that's the life of any roof system in an RV is is how you maintain it after you buy it. And this one has been well, well maintained. All the books and manuals are included. This table booth makes a bed. Sofas make a bed. I mean, you can sleep seven people in here easily. Um, like I said, all the books are in there. And that ISB Cummins, I'm gonna tell you, that's uh, that thing's hard to beat, folks. 
Uh, got the side by side refrigerator freezer with ice maker. And we make sure everything works, folks. When you buy an RV from us, we don't just give you the keys and tell you, here you go, take the good with the bad. No, folks. When you buy an RV, we don't check them till we sell them because we have so many RVs in stock. But when you, once you purchase an RV, buy a text, take it to our shop. We go completely through this thing, front to back, top to bottom. We have an over 200 point inspection. It has to pass before we release it to you. I mean, we are so we are more thorough than any dealer you've ever seen. Um, in fact, and I've told this story a few times. Uh, I've got some RV techs who've been doing this about 20, 25 years. One guy has worked for some of the biggest RV dealerships in the world. I'm not going to mention no names, but they sponsor NASCAR and places like that. And he's worked for the biggest one they have in the country down in Florida. And he told me that he's never seen an RV dealer so thorough about checking out a used RV. The stuff that we check and that we repair, he told me was stuff that every other dealer he's ever worked for would just let it go and tell them that's just part of buying a used RV. But we don't do that, folks. We've been doing this 48 years, family owned and operated three generations. We're going to check these things out, make sure every little thing works down to every last little light bulb. It takes us a few days. I even take my diesels down to a diesel mechanic shop and have them drive it and check out the runnability to make sure there's no issues with the driving. And it just ta takes us a few days to check these out, folks. But I've never had anybody complain about it once they picked it up because they couldn't believe how nice it looks in person, especially compared to the video or the pictures and how the fact that everything works. And that's exactly what we're going to do to this one, folks. If you buy this RV, everything will be 100%. But I will tell you this, just from cranking the generator and turning the lights on and the heat on and the refrigerator on, everything's working great so far. But we will check it make sure, make 100% sure of that. We're going to step in here through the bathroom. Notice the large walkthrough bathroom. It's got solid sliding privacy doors on each side, the, the living room side and the bedroom slide side. Uh, got a nice vanity area. Got a nice medicine cabinet, glassed in shower. It's got the skylight. And we haven't cleaned this up or anything, folks. So you can see this thing just like it came in. Look around that skylight. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but there is no water stains, no water marks. They've kept it serviced. They've kept it sealed like it's supposed to, and you can really tell the difference. Look around the vents. You know, if they don't, if people don't keep the filters changed, you get a black residue around these vents on this carpeted headliner, and the only way you can get that off is to use a cleaner so strong that it bleaches it bright white around the vents. That's why when you look at a lot of RVs that have this carpeted headliner, you're gonna notice a circle a, a bleached out circle around the vents. That's where they had to clean them with so strong, such a strong cleaner that it bleached it bright white. But you don't see that on this one, folks, because the people kept the filters changed. There's no residue, no bleached out spots. That's when you know you've got a nice RV because it doesn't matter how good the buy is. It doesn't matter how nice the RV is. If it's not been taken care of, you're asking for problems. And this one right here has been taken care of. It's got the washer and dryer combo. Of course, we'll make sure that works like it's supposed to. So you don't have to worry about putting one of those in. Those are about $2,000. Private water closet. Notice it's got the upgrade Thedford RV toilet, the China toilet, uh, vent fan, plenty of lighting in here. Textured glass windows. So you don't have to worry about having a shade right there, even if it, even that it does have one though. We're going to walk toward the back, and what's amazing about this, folks, look at the original factory bedspread. It looks brand new. I mean, um, these folks have taken exceptional care. And I wasn't kidding, folks. If I could find a hundred discoveries like this one, equipped just like this, with exactly this kind of condition, I'd have all 100 of them stretched across the front line of my lot. But they're just not out there, folks, and I promise you, you look at 199 Discoveries, you're not going to find one nicer and cleaner than this one. There's storage underneath the bed. Of course, I've got the motor running right now. Uh, it's TV in the back. Of course, there's your return for your second air conditioner. It's got two roof airs. It's got a cedar-lined closet. Notice the... 
I guess you call that Wayne's molding right there that they put in here, the crown molding. I mean, this is not a cheap motor home, folks. It's not cheap when it was built. Flipping this up, that's a real cedar line closet. This looks like they left a little vacuum cleaner, which I'll leave in here. Cedar line closets, you got nightstands on both sides, which is a nice feature. You've got his and her reading lights, plug-ins, everything else you need. So you've got a place to put your cell phones, your wallet, your keys at night, both of you do. I mean, I don't know what else I can say about this RV, folks. It's got a manual point satellite system, uh, everything about it. I mean, you can look at this headliner, folks. It's just, it, it looks like you're looking at a 2016 model. I mean, this is perfect. No, never been smoked in. No pet odors. The seats look great. It's got 45,000 miles, folks. 45,140 miles to be exact. Where do you find diesels like this with 45,000 miles in this kind of condition? For less than 40 grand with two slides. I mean, it's just, I'm gonna go ahead and cut her off there. Generators humming along. I mean, it's, I, you know, it's it's a nice motorhome. And yeah, you can go out and spend 70, $80,000, get you another used diesel motorhome that may have more horsepower, may have uh, maybe a few years newer. But I promise you, you can spend twice as much as what I'm asking for this. And you're not going to get a motorhome that's any nicer than this one. Or that, or one that can do anything that this one can't do. Because it's just, it's amazing what you can buy now for, for this kind of money. Seemed like just a few years ago, diesel motorhomes for $39.9 were just falling to pieces and junk. But man, that you can buy a motorhome like this with this kind of mileage, with everything guaranteed to work for under 40 grand, is just, to me, still blows my mind. You know, I spent almost a hundred grand on mine, and I mean, I love my Winnebago, but the, looking at this one, this one here is nicer, nicer than mine. And uh, mine may be a few years newer, but I'm gonna tell you, um, wow. I mean, it, this this one here has got features that mine doesn't even have. Give us a call, thirty nine nine. We'll trade seven zero six. 965-7929 or evenings and Sundays you can get sales help at 423-605-6747 we're a 48 year old family owned and operated used RV dealership we got over 150 used RVs in stock mostly motorhomes I sell over 500 used RVs a year folks and that's because of our prices and the quality of RVs that we carry when you've been in business almost half a century like we have in three generations family owned and operated you know where to get the nice RVs like this one before the big boys get them. And the big boys, of course, are going to mark them up another ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 more than we do to cover all their overhead. Uh, you know, we don't have commission salespeople. We don't have any add-on sales fees like other RV dealers have. You know, there's no dock fees, prep fees, dealer fees. You know, on a motorhome, I guess most dealers are going to charge you anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000 in extra sales fees on top of asking hot more money for the same RV which I doubt they're going to have one anywhere near this nice for $39.9 but they're going to hit you up with several thousand dollars in fees and all those fees are a hundred percent dealer profit they're completely unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV we don't believe in them folks uh, you know all you pay here is the sales price and of course if you're a Georgia resident since we're a Georgia dealer you pay sales tax in if you're out of state like most of our customers are you'll pay your sales tax whenever you title the RV in your home state it's as easy as that folks financing is available I can get you up to 144 months with approved credit if you just want a short-term loan I can get you two and a half percent on 60 month with approved credit Nationwide delivery is available. I'll deliver this motor home anywhere in the country. You just pay whatever it costs us to get it there and get my driver back home. Not a dime more. We make no profit on delivery and just delivered by a very experienced RV transporter with hundreds of thousands of miles underneath his belt. 
driving motorhomes in all areas of the country and all times of the year. So it's it's going to get there just like it left here. So don't worry about that. And I'm going to tell you, folks, it's um you know we're not a corporate dealer. We're a family owned and operated used RV dealership. One of the most successful in the country. And you can ask. I've I've, I've got thousands and I've sold tens of thousands of RVs over the last 48 years. And you can look online. I've got dozens of positive reviews on Google. I'm a certified power seller on eBay with hundreds of positive feedback selling nothing but used RVs. And you can't buy that on eBay. You have to sell the RVs and, and the people leave you good feedback because they have such a positive experience. You can't buy that. Uh, and I'm one of the only dealers on eBay who's a certified power seller. And I work hard for that reputation. We work hard for that reputation. We're not going to endanger that reputation just to sell a 99 Fleetwood Discovery 37V. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it to sell 199 Discovery 37Vs to endanger that reputation. So I promise you folks, everything you see here on this video looks just as good or better in person. And the fact is my RV techs with 20, 25 years experience are going to go through this thing and make sure it's as nice as they can possibly make a 99 model to be and make sure everything works perfectly. And that's our promise to you folks and do it at a price that saves you thousands. Give us a call. We don't have commissioned salespeople so there's no sales pressure. You know, commissioned salespeople cost you money when you go to a dealership that pays commission because they get 25% of the gross profit, so that means that particular dealer has to mark their RVs up that much more to cover their salespeople's commission. That means that salesperson is only getting paid when they sell you an RV, so they're going to bring the sales pressure. Because the worst thing a commission salespeople can hear is, I'm just looking, or I'm going to buy in a few months or a couple of years. They're going to bring on the sales pressure, folks, because they know if they don't get you to commit today, and leave a deposit or buy an RV today, then chances are all the time they spent with you is wasted because you're going to buy somewhere else. And that's what they think in their mind. So that's why they put all this sales pressure on you. And they're always going to direct you to the RV that has the highest markup so they can make the biggest commission. And it's that's not how you buy RVs, folks. It's not the way we've done it for 48 years. You know, my guys get paid. My I've got salespeople. They're on they're on salary only. There's no incentive to sell. They get paid the same every single week. It doesn't matter how many RVs they sell. It doesn't even matter to them whether you buy the RV from us or don't buy the RV from us. This way, instead of having to fight the RV salesperson to buy an RV, they actually work with you and for you to answer your questions. You can come. We don't care if you come out and look every weekend for five years before you buy, folks. We don't care because we want you to buy when you're ready to buy. And to buy the RV that you want instead of just settling for one because some slick talking or commissioned salesperson talked you into it. We want you to come back in a few years after you buy one and trade yours back in and buy another one from us. Like most of our customers do, you'd be surprised how many RVs on our lot right now that are trade-ins that we sold a few years ago. And we want the RV that we sell you to still be in good enough shape that I can turn around, sell it to somebody else. They keep it for several years and trade it back in. It's a never ending cycle, folks. You know, corporate dealers care about how much money they can make off of you today. We care about getting your business for life, getting your repeat business, and getting your friends and family's uh, business too because we want you to refer them to us because you saved so much money and got such a nice motor home at a stress-free buying experience. So that is how we've stayed in business and going strong, selling 500 plus RVs a year for over 48 years. Now, if that's not a true testament to what kind of RV business we run, I don't know what else is. No, we have no interest rate markup. You know, other dealerships you go to and you want to finance an RV like most of you are going to, They've learned to exploit you by marking the interest rate up and costing you thousands of dollars in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan simply because they marked the interest rate up 3 or 4%. You know, I can get you an interest rate on this used 99 model with approved credit less than you can get a brand new Discovery 4 spending over $200,000. 
And that's because the new dealers mark the interest rates up. Most other used RV dealerships mark interest rates up, but we don't. I mean, we get several buyers done every single week at 2.5% interest rate. That's because we, we offer financing as a courtesy, not as a way to make money like other places do. So you don't have to worry about interest rate markup and overpaying on your RV payment. You don't have to, you know, even on the long-term financing, folks, we can still get you around 5% interest rate. And you just can't beat that and get 100 and get 12-year financing. So give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Uh, I do ask that you only call that 423 number after hours because his cell phone, we're kind of in a dead zone where our lot's at, so his cell phone does not pick up during the day. So please call the office during the day for sales help and call the 423 number after hours only. Uh, you can visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. You can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. We've got over 150 used RVs in stock, more arriving daily. I don't have everything posted online. I've got most of everything posted online, but I always tell people, look on our website. If you don't see what you're looking for, call, talk to one of our non-commissioned salespeople. Get to know them. Let them get to know you. This way they can call you when one comes in just like you're looking for and you get a chance to buy it before it goes online because most of the RVs that I do videos on and post online sell in a few days or a week or two. So they go quickly. And this way you get first shot at exactly the motorhome you're looking for and you won't believe how low the price is compared to anybody else. So give us a call. Don't be afraid to call us and talk to us because they're not on commission so there's no sales pressure and no games here. Thank you for watching my video on this 99 Discovery 37V. Any questions, give us a call or drop us an email. This is going on eBay and about 25 other websites. So hope to see you soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Thank you for watching.